If you would drive along the D979 road in the 70s, you would come across something interesting. A sight you wouldn't see anywhere else in the world. And that would be a tiger stuck in a ditch. This would be a surprise for any tourist that would stumble on this side of Normandy. On the 12th of August 1944, the Canadians and Polish forces launched off Operation Tractable. This operation would close off the last pocket at Jamba and would trap the remaining German forces. Several Tigers of the 102nd SS Panzer Battalion were attempting to escape and one of these groups were stationed at Crossroad close to Fimauti. And on the 20th of August, along with other German tanks and vehicles, tried to make it to a fuel dump at Chateau de l'Orange in Tisville. The Tiger and 60 other vehicles would be abandoned because they ran out of fuel. The crew of the Tiger had set off explosive charges, but only succeeded in blowing off the engine deck covers and jamming the turret. Later, the tank was bulldozed off the road by the advancing Canadian forces because the tank was obstructing the road. With this tank's history comes the same issue the La Glacia Tiger 2 has, and many YouTube channels and other informative sites get several historical facts wrong. They simply regurgitate what other sites have copy-pasted and stick it in their video, without picking up a book or doing some actual research. Because the popular belief is that this tank belonged to the 102nd SS Heavy Panzer Battalion and had the turret 231, but this would make it Hans Lorditz Tiger. Luritz had an impressive amount of tank kills, but was killed with its crew at the small town of Uzi when his tiger was knocked out 45 kilometers from Vimauti. So in this video we're going to have a look at the history of this tank, what it would have looked like during the Battle of Normandy, and we're also going to have a good look at the tiger and try to identify it as Tiger 224. So what was the original turret number for this Tiger? It's said to be 224, commanded by Unterscharfuhrer Reiske, which was abandoned on the 20th of August to a big mechanical problem, which states loss of oil pressure resulting in engine failure, and this would make the fuel story also false. So I looked up several pictures of Tiger 224 on the internet and in several books. Sadly, the Tiger doesn't really have any big identifying marks, like battle damage, only for some small dings, and it's hard to spot them on these pictures. So I looked at the Zimmerit, which the tank actually had, and what cut my future me here. Thanks to YouTube deleting this video, I had another look at some pictures and noticed something interesting. Note these three dents or shell hits, whatever you want to call them. Do you see those places where the Simmerit is gone? Because of those dents, it seems like it has the same three dents on the tank today. I just wanted to throw that in here because this could be essential evidence in this case. Thank you and bye bye. So I looked at the Zimmerit, which the tank actually had, and what caught my eye was that the Zimmerit wasn't neatly applied on some parts and you probably could identify it this way. So I spotted this bit on the gun mantle. It looks like it was applied the same way, but still, this is really a far stretch. 
So I had a look at the site and compared it with the site view of the tank taken at the Morgni. I had a close look at the Simmeret and spotted some regularities. I also spotted a damage mark on the back of the tank, but it didn't have that on this picture. So maybe it happened later on in the Battle of Normandy? I compared the picture with several other spots of battle damage on the wheels, but could not find anything on the older pictures. I was ready to give up the search, but I spotted something. So I have been comparing several pictures online and in books and couldn't find anything conclusive. The Zimmerit was the only thing that was just applied as simple as the Vimmerteer Tiger. Uh, it didn't really look straight and was a bit unusual, but then I spotted two hooks to hang something on them and they were the same on the Vimmerteer Tiger. I had a look if these were standard on Tigers, but I couldn't find really anything. Yeah, only two pictures that maybe show hooks applied on the site, but it wasn't anything conclusive. So this is probably crew applied and they were on the same spot in both pictures. So Tiger 2 to 4 is probably the Fimo T Tiger. Tiger 2 to 4 commanded by Unterscharfuhrer Reiske participated in a counterattack lance for Fimo T to turn in an attempt to break through the Valash pocket. They took several key roads to Fima T, but the Germans took a lot of casualties because of close combat in the area and on the southwest road to Fima T, near Champosseux, several enemy tanks from the 1st Polish Armored Division were knocked out. It was during this phase of the operation that Tiger 2-4 took the 979 road and breaks down. Reisker orders his crew to place charges to blow it up and leave it behind. And you know the rest of the story. After the war, Normandy was littered with armored vehicles. Vehicles that weren't taken by military engineers were sold off to local scrappers. Tiger 224 was sold to a scrapper named Mora. But the Tiger was too hard to move because it was bulldozed off the road into a ditch and Mr. Mora only removed the easily removable parts and the gearbox. After Mora died, his sister sold the tank to a scrapper in Khan that started cutting up the Tiger. Today you can still see the cutting marks on the side of the turret and on the roof. They also tried to remove the turret but failed to do so. When the local people of Fima T heard of what was going to happen to the tank, the tank was bought for 6000 francs to be placed as a monument. In 1975 the tank was recovered by Alan Rotex and was restored and placed on the spot it sits now. Some interesting things you can see on the tank today are the cut marks on the turret and a little bit of battle damage here and there on the steel wheels. And something that was noticed by one of my subscribers because the engine deck was restored by two engine deck covers from a Panzer IV. But as you can see the tank is in dire need of a new restoration because just the new paint job will not work anymore. So in 2017 a plan was made to restore the tank and a site was created to raise money for a restoration and a new museum building in the town of Fimati. But until then only a fence is placed around the tank to prevent any other people from climbing onto it. If you want to help out the project you can visit the site of Fimati Tiger Association and maybe you can contact them for a donation. But that will be it for this video. If you want to support the channel think about buying me a coffee or visit my Patreon. I will see you in the next one.